Thank you very much, Kara. Appreciate the introduction. <clears throat> so without further ado, sorry, skip the slide there. Quickly, the agenda. Um, we're going to hit three major points. Uh, first being um, improving software development, and I'm going to provide a very brief overview of the broad solution that uh, Rational is bringing to market. And then I'll give you an overview of our modeling solution, which is Rational Rhapsody. And then we'll dive into the, the details about how Rhapsody can be applied for automotive, uh, specifically focusing on the modeling of AutoStar systems. <clears throat> so today, uh, the complexity of the products that we are bringing to market, especially the automobile, is, is growing exponentially. Across every industry, we're seeing similar trends. And this is uh, a, a result of the growing um, importance of software in these systems that are being brought to market. And so uh, with that in mind, we want to put together solutions that help us tackle that complexity. <clears throat> One of the things that, that needs to happen, of course, is a transition from traditional design methodologies and traditional workflows that result in siloed domains and, and organizations. This prevents uh, a collaborative workflow. It prevents continuous engineering. By applying the rational solution, which is built on the open services for lifecycle collaboration, and specifically our Jazz platform, we're able to knock down those, those silos, eliminate the barriers between the domains and the disciplines, and give everyone uh, unfettered visibility to the engineering data across the entire life cycle. So the solution today is going to uh, leverage the existing federated uh, data storage mechanisms that we have in place, which ensures that the solutions are completely scalable across the entire uh, enterprise, uh, but still providing that level of visibility that, that's very important. So whether you're doing mechanical engineering, uh, electronics, or, or software, you're going to have easy access to all of the data that you need to get your job done. Our solution covers all phases of the life cycle and the various capability areas uh, that we see here. So from requirements management through to uh, design and, and quality management, and also change and configuration management. For today's webinar, we are going to focus on the aspect of uh, architecture and design. And that is, of course, in this case, Rhapsody. So where does Rhapsody fall into the development process? Now, Rhapsody is a, a solution that can be applied for both software engineering as well as systems engineering and on the testing side as well. So whether you're um, trying to construct your, your functional analysis or your architecture or you're doing detailed software design, uh, Rhapsody has a, a solution for you. We apply standard notations to achieve that and provide a family of best practices to help guide you in your development efforts. Taking a look now at the key capabilities for uh, systems engineering in Rhapsody, um, we have, uh, of course, model validation through execution. This is this is important as we think about uh, traditional um, systems engineering methods. They're largely document-driven, uh, pencil and paper-based approaches, and it's very difficult to validate these things by transforming our organizations from a document-driven and document-centric organization to a, a model-driven organization, we're able to bring those specifications to life and enable things like model execution, which give us the ability to perform the validation and ensure that the requirements are being specified properly. We're applying the systems modeling solution, uh, which is a standard notation uh, often referred to as the SysML, to, to achieve this. 